Hi guys, Rob here from the Worldwide Fishing Club and this video is just to give you all an update of how things are going and what I've been doing over the last few months to improve our community. First of all, one of the main requests was speed, so I just want to run through the site as a non-signed in member and show you how quick things are now. As you can see, it's certainly a heck of a lot faster than where we were at a few months ago. If a lot of effort's been put into this, and I hope it works well for all of you guys. I'm in New Zealand, and if it's this fast over here, then, uh, you know, you guys in America where the server is should be seeing some really cool speeds. Second is Ajax Photos and integration with a lot of the latest social networks. Let's click on a photo. It comes up in a nice viewer. You can flick through the photos. Uh, this is a page I made on Wellington. Some of the pictures of some of the fish. You can go down here. You can choose to share it on one of the local or one of the you know bigger networks out there. You can also choose to go to the photo by clicking Go Photo, and you come back to the site. This is all as a non-signed in member. So anyone who's not signed in cannot create a profile, cannot create content. They can only view content. If you want to sign in or create a uh, create a profile connect with Facebook if you like. It seems to be the easiest way. Just click connect with Facebook, go through the normal procedures. Everybody is pretty much familiar with this kind of stuff. Log in to Facebook and that will pretty much do everything for you and that will create your account and you may be sent a confirm e email from the site and uh, you have to confirm that and then you're in. Uh, right, now you're in. So once you're in and you say you did sign in from Facebook, that means your Facebook details can be accessed directly through the Worldwide Fishing Club. So you can, this is your Facebook wall here. It just imports it all and you can interact with Facebook via the Worldwide Fishing Club. Same thing applies to Twitter. Once you've entered your Twitter details, forevermore you can log in and see your tweets. And same thing with LinkedIn all uh, integrated now and that's pretty cool if you ask me. Back to what's new and this takes you back to the Worldwide Fishing Club wall. Uh, this has been slightly overhauled. It allows you to uh, filter your content. Say you just want to look at your friends content then only your friends content will be shown here. Same if you just want to look at photos you can click photos and only photos will be listed here. Same with posts, likes, videos, pages, and you can choose all the other options down here. For posting something, if you want to post a video, you can do any text you like in here. Choose, say, video there. And now you can choose videos from YouTube, Vimo, Dailymotion, or just a video URL that you happen to have. So let's say it's YouTube. You would enter the YouTube URL here, for example, like that. Attach finish your message and then choose to share it. If you want to share it on your Facebook account as well or Twitter or LinkedIn account, you would click these buttons like that. If you want to share it with everybody, you leave that setting like that. Or if you have custom lists, you can choose custom list or friends only or friends and networks. I'm going to get more into the network side of thing a little bit later on as that gets more developed. And then you would click share and away you go. All right, moving on. So now I want to point out the new profiles. At the moment, uh, it's been pretty standard. Everybody's profile looked the same. But now let's have a look at my profile, for example. And you will see that we have a new profiles page. You can now create a cover photo for your profile, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, you can very easily edit this by editing cover photo, upload cover photo, or choose from album photos. So let's say we do that. It'll pop up a little thing here. This is the recent photos. You can view your other albums. For now, I'm just going to upload another recent photo. Let's say it's a silly one of me and the elephant fish from last summer. I did eat these fish, so... Uh, don't think that they went to waste. I did release about six of them as well. They uh, they were a very cool catch for me in the summer this year. But anyway, moving on. 
And that's how you would change your cover photos. Uh, another thing I want to mention is the site is now mobile. I spent a lot of time creating a mobile aspect for this. So now you can upload your photos via your phones or iPads. The whole site has been completely redone for a mobile version. And I'm pretty sure if you access the site via your mobile phone, you are going to be very surprised. It's actually really, really cool. And I'm very, very happy with how it's turned out. Uh, moving down, you can see the wall is pretty much the same as it always has been. Uh, the same applies to the Ajax photos. You can see Pali's actually changed his profile picture already, and he's decided that he wants to promote Northern Bates. And you can see what he's done with his profile. It looks pretty cool, I think. And if you haven't done anything with your profile yet, don't worry, it's not going to be an error or anything, uh, but I do recommend that you do make the profile changes. I'll take a look at Leon's profile, for example. By the way, thanks to Leon for always being there in the last few months and welcoming the new members. It's a much appreciated man. So this is what a non-edited profile cover will look like. It's very easy to do it. Just, as I said, click the Add Cover Profile and you're away to go. Forums are now live again. Sorry about that. I wasn't aware that they were down for so long. They are live again, and uh, it has been a while since they've been live, so the content looks a bit old. But that was totally my fault. I got carried away with other things and didn't even notice that that was the case. Fishing groups is something that's coming next. Basically, it's going to be a thing that allows you to create just groups of people that you want to share your content to. This is more for the mobile version of the site that's coming, or which is already there, but it's it's going to be evolving into this kind of aspect. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. And, and all right, I have added, I'm going to have to sign out to show you guys this. I have added a paid subscription for the people who would like to help out with the club. I've been trying to think of ways that we can really promote this and try and get it out there. And the only way that I can think of doing it fairly is for people who can afford it, make a $10 sub every year. It's actually $12.95 and it's certainly not required, but anybody who wants to support the Worldwide Fishing Club, then they can do so by going to settings and changing their subscription, or when they sign up, choosing uh, to, you just click subscription here, and that'll tell you what subscription you're on. Uh, for anyone who's not on it, you should choose this one here, join free for your completely free account. This is the subscription all adults should be on, and this is the one that all juniors should be on. Uh, so you can change your subscription there very easily, and uh, that's, recommended and this is the subscription you can choose if you would like to pay $12.97 per year to help the growth of the worldwide fishing club this is certainly not required but i want to try and start now that i've finished the core now it's time to try and advertise and i'm pretty good at that kind of thing i just want to be able to do it in a way where we get the most amount of members and as I'm already paying a fortune for hosting, et cetera, et cetera, I figured I might as well chuck it up there and just see what happens. Uh, certainly not required, guys. This is just a, just a heads up for those people who are going to join um, and don't mind helping out a little bit, then they can do that. But uh, certainly not required. All right, it's asking me to log in via Facebook because I've already logged out of my my main account, so I am going to log back in again. But really, um, there's only one more thing that I want to point out, and that is this cool little tool down here. This is the tool, uh, this is like a toolbar down here for chat. Now we're going to be able to connect to Facebook and Gtalk via this chat. Uh, one of the main things I want to point out is this translate the page. This is going to 
really help us, I think, as the community grows. Let's say some Japanese people come along and they don't speak English very well. They can click that and it translates everything that we've written into Japanese. And they can go through the site with a lot, a lot easier and, uh, and, and become part of the community. This works in a whole lot of different languages and I really think it's going to help. Considering now, if some of you saw the post that I put up here, we've got 31 different countries visiting the Worldwide Fishing Club every day. So uh, big ups to that. There's going to be games in that, but I haven't uploaded them yet. They will probably be live by the time you guys watch this video. It's not really a huge part of this fishing club, but it, they are going to be there, and you're going to be able to share um, like pictures and all sorts of things. There's chat rooms. This is more up to you guys to create chat rooms. To do so, you just click Create Chat Room, choose a name, and then choose whether you want it to be a public room, a password protected room or invite only room. Now you can pop this out into the middle of the page so it gives you more freedom. Uh, if you click that, it takes you into the chat room and <laughs> you can see I tested a little while ago with somebody and this is probably where you can play the games, etc. But anyway, more on that as we go along. Getting out of there. And I think for now, apart from the mobile version, that's all I'm going to be sharing with you guys. All right, tight lines, and uh, see you on the site. Cheers.